This beautiful festive bundt cake is one of my cakes made without eggs, milk, or butter. To make my gingerbread bundt cake, you'll need three cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of molasses syrup, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, one and a quarter cup of hot water, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of ginger, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cloves, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. You'll also need a prepared bundt pan. Get started. Start with your three cups of flour and into your mixing bowl add all your dry ingredients. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of coarse salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of cloves, one tablespoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of ginger. With your wire whisk, blend it thoroughly together. So as with all of my cakes made without eggs, milk, or butter, our leavening will be the white vinegar, so we want to save that to last. We're going to start our liquids with three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla, three quarters of a cup of molasses syrup. You need to know a little bit about molasses for this recipe. Molasses comes in basically two forms. It comes in what's called fancy molasses or blackstrap molasses. And you can also find a cooking molasses, which is kind of a combination of blackstrap and fancy molasses. But I find molasses a little bit tricky to find at times, and I find it very difficult to work with because it can be very bitter. So I have found a wonderful product. It's old-fashioned maple syrup with molasses and brown sugar. It's much milder, gives a much more delicate flavor to your gingerbread. Your next ingredient is one and a quarter cup of boiling hot water. Why boiling hot water? Because that's just what it's always, our grandmothers have always done. And that's just how you make gingerbread. Nobody seems to know why we use hot water in the mixture but everybody agrees that we need to use hot or boiling water. So mix it thoroughly, and then your last ingredient will be your tablespoon of white vinegar, and then quickly put into the bundt pan and into your preheated 375 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. So beat your mixture until it's nice and smooth, and now it's time to add your tablespoon of distilled white vinegar with your prepared butt pan nearby. You want to stir it together. You can see it's starting to foam. And as always, once you get this thoroughly mixed, you want to get it into the pan and into the oven as quickly as possible. Into our butt pan it goes. I wish you could smell this. It just smells like the holidays with all the wonderful smells of the spices. This is the time I would usually be making my glaze for the cake, but this cake I'm only going to dust with powdered sugar because I'm going to be serving it with lemon curd. You can find my recipe for lemon curd on my channel. Our cake is beautiful. It's out of the oven. It's just exactly what I hoped it would look like and I'm just doing a very heavy dusting of powdered sugar over this and then I'll actually be serving it with lemon curd. This festive gingerbread cake makes a lovely dessert or an afternoon treat with coffee or tea. It's sure to become a holiday favorite.